I'm Ross. Welcome to Deku Digest, your weekly update for movies and series newly added to Deku, the only streaming service dedicated to gay men. This week's newly added titles are Eastern Boys, The Long Ride, and The Extinction of Fireflies. Let's get right into it with a clip from Eastern Boys. Ça, c'est la main. La main. Le toit. Le toit. Le bras. Le bras. Le bas. Le bras. Le bras. L'épaule. 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 Le sein. Le sein. Le téton. Téton. Oui. Le téton. Oui. Mais le téton. Hmm? Le cou. Cou. Le menton. Cou. Le menton. La bouche. Le sourire. Le sourire. Le sourire. Le sourire. Oui. Le sourire. Le sourire. Ton sourire. Mon sourire. Oui. A quel point est français Le Sucer. Sucer. Ceci. Sucer. Ceci. Verbe. Je te suce. Let's go. Oui Non. Je veux te faire un I want smoke. Tu veux fumer Non. Ah non, pas ici, non. Sur le balcon. Tout d'un Oui. Ok. Arriving from all over the Eastern Bloc, the young men who frequent the Gare du Nord train station in Paris are scraping by however they can, forming gangs for support and protection, and living in fear of being caught by the police and deported. When a bourgeois middle-aged man named Daniel approaches a boyishly handsome Ukrainian immigrant named Marek, he learns the young man is willing to do anything for some cash. When Daniel brings the young man home, it leads to an alarming and dangerous home invasion. But once the men are able to spend some time alone together, they end up forming an unexpectedly profound relationship. The drastically different circumstances of their lives ultimately reveal hidden facets of the city they share. Presented in four parts, this absorbing, critically acclaimed drama from director Robin Campillo is centered around relationships that defy easy categorization, in which motivations and desires are poorly understood, even sometimes by those to whom they belong. Next up, The Long Ride. Ugh, do we have to do the whole thing? I don't understand. I've been awake for 37 hours, Aiden. Do you really think I need this right now? But is this because of work? Or you, you, uh, I thought it was okay. Uh, you said we'd get through this, it would just be a matter of time till I get something good, and, and I started to believe it. Uh, no one ever told me that, you know, since Jesus hates me, my parents do too, so yeah, yeah, I'm screwed. Look, I, I'm in a train right now. I, I don't understand. And you want to know the worst part? I can't believe I was actually going to propose with the ring and everything. Yeah, I, I was going to take you to Hyde Park where we had our first date. Do, do you remember that? You arrived and I was so scared that maybe people would stare or maybe someone would notice me, but you just smiled and you took my hand like it was nothing. Like it was obvious because who cares if people stare, right? Who cares? Not everything is as it seems in The Long Ride. An eight-minute comedy drama from writer Sammy Soisy and director Sarah Passos, the film stars Matthew Morrison as Zach an up-and-coming British actor with lots of talent but very little professional luck. After a long and uncomfortable day, all Zach wants to do is sit down and relax on his long train ride home. Determined to get a seat, he decides to make a scene, with the help of his long-suffering boyfriend Aiden, played by Joseph Prestwich. His efforts, however, prove a little too convincing and end up getting him in far more trouble than he anticipated. The Long Ride is a clever, well-acted, and deliberately deceptive short film about a fake breakup turned tragically real. Our last title this week, The Extinction of Fireflies. Callisto and I were just deciding your future. Really? Oh, I'm all ears. We're gonna get married and have lots of babies, right, mm. Callie? Mm -hmm. Toss me that knitting, will you, darling? <laughs> <laughs> Callisto was reciting Euphrates' death plea. Oh, was this before or after your backyard symposium on gays and procreating? He's a natural. Baby, go and show James your rewrites. Wait, rewrites? Baby? Just a few to make it more conversational. Um, he's an emperor on his deathbed, surrounded by the Praetorian Guard and the Roman Senate. It's not chatty Cathy. I also screwed around a little bit with Hadrian's Greece speech. Oi, that. 
before uh, Euphrates kills himself, the scene with Antinous in Alexandria. Egypt, in case you were wondering. Thank you, John. John? I love it. It's mad good. Oh, you made it more conversational. Uh, it just wasn't flowing. Exactly. Interesting, huh? It was flowing for me. Well, I, I reworked a few words and a sentence or two here and there to make it land better with a younger audience. Important point. But what if I don't want it to land better with a younger audience? Why not? You don't. What? what? Everyone I, wants that. Hey, maybe we read the play out loud before we rip it apart? Set over Labor Day weekend in coastal New England, the extinction of fireflies follows a middle-aged playwright who invites some friends to read his latest dramatic effort. Those friends are Charlotte, a legendary TV diva, and Jay, an actor who rarely finds himself employed. The play, titled The Extinction of Fireflies, is a mythological comedy based on the epic romance of Roman Emperor Hadrian and his teenage lover Antinous. But when Jay brings along his new, much younger lover Callisto, the critical feedback becomes personal and surprisingly spectacular. This new comedy from writer-director James Andrew Walsh stars multi-award winner Michael Urey of Ugly Betty fame, Olivier Award winner Tracy Bennett, Bob's Burgers and search party regular Drew Droge, and Chicago Fire and Broad City star Cario Marcel. Shot entirely on location in westerly Rhode Island during the 2020 global pandemic, the film is dedicated to all the fireflies extinguished by both AIDS and the coronavirus. Have you seen these films? Let us know in the comments below what you thought, and if you haven't seen them, Check them out on Deku.com, on our add-on channel to Amazon Prime, Comcast, or on Roku. Sign up today for a free trial to Deku and get access to hundreds of gay films, including these recent releases. Deku releases at least three gay movies every week on top of its extensive catalog of classics and new films. So please like and subscribe to our channel and join us next week for another new edition of Deku Digest.